Now, what was the purpose of the demonstration today? The purpose was to show a new technology that we have developed for the uh, FEMA urban search and rescue teams and other urban search and rescue teams throughout the country and the world uh, using uh, microwave radar to actually find victims buried in rubble that uh, with a heart through their heartbeat and their respirations. We've got three buttons: on, off, set up, search. And so you know the, the the first responder just pushes the search button and it displays what it's going to do, turns on the lights, so it looks at the front, then it looks to the side, and the other side, and then the back. Um, and then it decides whether the victims are there or not. It helps speed up the entire operation by using the TIS technology to look at a, a collapsed building or a pile of rubble, and before anybody even goes to search it, can determine if there's anybody alive in there through their heartbeat and their respirations. This can be used initially to go ahead and scan the pile. If there's somebody in there, you send in the canines or you send in the other rescue people to go ahead and go find where, exactly where the person is and go ahead and bring them out. But they don't have to spend resources and limited time uh, trying to f look for places where there's nobody at. The Finder device is a great partnership between the Jet Propulsion Lab and uh, the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, JPL Science led to the basics here and DHS helped us understand how to apply it. To be contributing directly to something that is going to save lives, is that's, that's really neat. <laughs> it's what I'm in business for.